Thomas. Thomas. Thomas Groves. Ho ho. Hey guys, Ghost Pusher All One here with another episode of Modern American Forge. And uh, I'm going to try and upload two episodes today, just so you know, okay? Um, but in this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a GUI handler, okay? So, or a GUI handler, whatever you want to call it, okay? So, basically, what one of these is, this is basically so we can actually open or render an image onto the screen or actually open an inventory on the server. Okay, so the way this is done is we're actually going to go through the server proxy. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go public static void. I'm sorry, not for static, just make it void. Public void register um, network stuff in here, okay? So I'll just call it network stuff. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to go um, network registry dot and we want to go to the instance one because that actually calls directly from the network registry okay and it's not an actual variable in there so it's just the instance of that class dot register GUI handler or GUI handler okay so it's going to ask for an instance for our mod which is a, which is an object okay so remember the episode where we did the at instance strings mod ID public static main registry mod instance it's just that okay so we're going to go main registry dot mod instance and then the handler I'm just going to go new tm gooby handler like so uh, it's going to ask me to create that class okay so I'll hit create class see it's already going to automatically implement uh, I, G, uh, I gooby handler and then this is going to go into a, G, a gooby class okay for my package so I'm going to hit finish and it's here it comes up with this, but before I explain any of this to you, I'm actually going to go into my main registry. Inside of the load method, which is uh, basically once the game starting running, okay, so this is drawing the, the load, uh, drawing the game, okay, we're just going to go proxy dot register network stuff. The reason we're doing it inside the load method and not the actual preload method is because we only want this to be, um, we only want a new GUI to be registered when the event is called and that is during the actual game okay so that's why we have to register the network stuff once the game is loaded okay okay on to the actual uh, the GUI class the GUI handler class okay I'm not gonna actually put this in GUI I'm gonna put it in handler that's what I meant to do that's where, that's where I meant to put it handler so I'm gonna move that voila I'm gonna delete that whole class okay um, basically what this is okay so it's an object, okay, so this says that it can be actually um, call upon multiple methods, okay, so it can return almost anything. Okay. You see the object's not got... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that then. Uh, so it's an object, okay. And basically this is, obviously you've got a server-side element and then you've got the client-side element, okay. The server-side is actually for registering, like, and storing the information, such as what's inside of that inventory, such as, I don't know, like it could be, I don't know, it could be a chest or a furnace. It's going to just remember anything that's in there and it will just register that on the server side, okay? And the client side is actually just rendering the image onto the screen. Okay. So, what are the parameters, okay? The same in both. The ID is just so we can actually call for it from inside the lock class. So, like, we can have, like, an unactivated method and say we can say, like, if the ID is zero, then we want to do this. The entity player is just so it opens to the player, okay? So, it renders it on the player screen. Uh, the world, okay. Uh, this basically these last three parameters, four parameters here. These are for the tile entity because it's what the tile entity requires. It will require a world and um, dot something something something, whether it be dot get metadata or dot get block. And then inside of that, it'll requ require three coordinates, which will be x, y, and z. Okay. So obviously that's been quite a short episode, and we need to import this because it's in the wrong package at the moment okay yeah okay so i guess uh sorry for the sort of episode it's like i said i'm gonna try and upload two today so um yeah okay so this is obviously a big hint of what the next episode is going to be hopefully and yeah i guess i'll see you guys next later bye